Hello everyone, my name is the Mathematic One, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create user accounts and user groups. The image here displayed is a Mark IV tank from World War I, uh, that is the English's tank. I'm not sure in the exact history behind it. Anyways, first thing you do is click Start, go to Control Panel, and we're not going to use this. Instead, we're going to go System and Security, Administrative Tools, and then Computer Management. Now as this loads for some of you, you may be thinking, well, why are we doing it this way? Well, because if you do it the other way, it's slow and painful, and you cannot create accounts in mass. So, first thing first, local user groups. So we're going to go to users. We're going to create a new user, and now we're going to type in a name, John. John's name is John F. Done. We can have it as different settings so that when he logs in for the first time it wants him to change his password. We can have no password or we can disable his account or password that never expires. Many schools and other organizations use this so that your password expires at a certain date and then you have to come up with a new one. It's quite smart actually. It works really well. So we create John F. Done. And now we're going to create John D. And his name is going to be John D. There. We're done creating those accounts. And there we have them. John F. and John D. So, currently, we can't really do much with them. Not at all. So next, we're going to go to Groups. New Groups. The Johns is what we're going to call them. Description can be whatever you want. You can call the group whatever you want. The description can be whatever you want. And you can add whatever members you want. You just type in the name of the account. So John and John D. There you go. Now they're in the account. Let us create the Johns. And there we have it. We have successfully created a new user accounts and a new user group. Incredibly fast in just under probably about two, three minutes. Some of the things you can do is add the group to another group. Uh, you can give them more members. You can also set custom privileges with this group when it's changing a file, which I might show in a later video. If you like my content or and you like this video, you know, feel free to you know gives it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like the rest of my content. It really helps out. Thanks. And uh, whenever this comes up, ignore it. It's a lot of baloney. Thanks.